Good morning, church. Good morning, everyone who's watching us online. As for today, before we start praise and worship, let's look into the Word of God from Psalms 150. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Praise Him for His mighty deeds. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with trumpet sound. Praise Him with the lute and harp. Praise Him with tambourine and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipes. Praise Him with the sounding cymbals. Praise Him with loud clashing Symbols, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord? Okay. Let's, let's rise to our feet. Clap your hands. We want to see Jesus lifted high. A banner that flies across the land That all men might see the truth and know He's the way to heaven We want to sing, we want to sing We want to see Jesus lifted high We want to see, we want to see We want to see Jesus lifted high Step by step we're moving forward Little by little we're taking ground Every prayer a powerful weapon Strongholds come tumbling down and down and down We want to see Jesus lifted high A banner that lasts across the land That all men might see the truth and know He's the way to heaven We want to sing we want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. We want to see, we want to see, we want to see Jesus lifted high. Step by step, we're moving forward, little by little, by taking ground. Every prayer, a powerful weapon, strong. Tower of refuge and strength 
joy at the works of your hands forever I love you forever I'll stand nothing compares to the promise I have in you my Jesus my Savior Yo 
Lord Jesus, thank you for this day, Lord God. As we bring the next portion of the service into your hands, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning, everyone who's in church and those who are tuning us online. Blessed Sunday. So for today, we only have one announcement, which will be our prayer meeting every Friday, which is on Zoom at 9 p.m. We would love to see everybody joining us. And now, let's go into offering. So shall we close our eyes and prepare ourselves to give? Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for bringing us here together in church or virtually. God, as we prepare our hearts, mind, and soul to give, Lord, let the offering that has been given to be used for the furtherance of your kingdom. Pray for those who do not have to give, that they will be blessed by someone who has to give, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As for today, we have a special guest. With this, which is Reverend Pastor Chi Hong, and you may come. Thank you so much. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Praise the Lord. Are you good? Amen. Our God is great, right? Well, and just are sitting around, <laughs> and as all of you uh, uh, join us today, um, I would like some interaction yeah, on my preaching. I know uh, many of us whom we rather let the speaker speak <laughs> The whole, whole day through. Or uh, rather, they, they are serious topic. Uh, you know, it doesn't really, you know, uh, how to say, they, they, there is, they, we have no idea, they, they, we are not uh, in it, or rather, we don't know anything about it. Yeah? So, but basically, Bibles uh, and, and the word in the Bible that we read every day. Uh, basically, it's just there. I mean, it is there. But uh, often not, we need uh, God interventions and the wisdom and knowledge, which we call it uh, the revelations knowledge. That is very important for every one of us. Um, we have different generations brought up. We have different years brought up, we have different uh, culture, friendship, and in fact, different community altogether, right? So we look at it as it is a mess, but as we know that this is exciting, it is exciting, because everyone has certain experience. If you know the story about the blind man, a, a group of blind people with the, with the elephant, that is how eventually it turns out. Most of our life, we face different uh, scenarios, some harshly, some very lovingly, some extreme being pampered. All right? Praise the Lord. Okay. Hallelujah. <clears throat> uh, let's go uh, to John's 14th. 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whenever I have said to you. So this is a promise. 
In this word, it is a promise. It is a say and a pronounce or rather declare or we call it uh, officially. Okay, officially appointed. Amen? Shall we uh, go to, the, to God in prayer? Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for today that we can just come to you into your presence to know and to seek for your wisdom and to even know, Father Lord, help us in our situations. We know that every one of us have certain experience. There is no comparison, even though we like to. But Lord, we know the reality is we will face every day, everything, anything, so Father God, in a very different manner. Hence, we need your help, Holy Spirit, to guide us and lead us. And we thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. How many of you know what is spirit? Our topic today is the move and the guide. But I, want, I don't want to just go in directly into that form. I need you to know, to understand what form of the spirit that we are talking about. Okay? We knew all along that uh, Holy Spirit it is, is the, the, the third person in Trinity's. Uh, and many in the world out there, they cannot accept. Okay? Uh, we don't mention the religion. Uh, huh? So, uh, basically, they can't accept this form of explanation. The reason why is Holy Spirit is real. And somewhat, to many people, when you don't have the encounter, you feel that it is, it is just uh, math. You know? It is just something that, oh, I don't see it, so why should I believe? Right? So what is spirit? Okay, spirit, singularly, there are two forms. One is a small letter. Another one is the big letter. The, the, I mean the S, yeah? Uh, spirit, which is the person itself. But the spirit they were talking about, there are so many forms of it. And, it, and many people uh, would understand uh, very wrongly. Yeah? Sometimes they talk about, oh, I have the spirit. What does that mean? That means they have a very high positive energy. Right or not? Some say, I have the spirit to do this. I have the spirit to run faster than him. Okay? Uh, and in fact, my year, I don't know, what, I don't know about you, <laughs> in my days, they even you know, use the spirit for terms of a substance. Right. You put a spirit into this, then you can burn. <laughs> you know, what is that? Now today we call it ethanol, methanol, you know. They even use that as a substance. So, in your day, in your, in your generation, or the younger generation, maybe you don't have this experience, but in my days, we had. You know why? Because... Because those days, our, our land, we need to pump on. <laughs> right? We don't have electricity. Right? Our, electric, uh, our electricity uh, generated is limited. You know, there's a huge generator in the estate. So they go, pop, 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 pop. You can hear the sound literally miles away to light up everything. And then all of a sudden, they say, this air run off. Then you don't have. <laughs> They do the announcement, they're very, very, you know, they're very prompt and they're systematic, you know. And they were announced in the last speaker and said, this area is going to close at what time? No more, no more diesel and, you know, those days diesels are more expensive. Uh, petrol is still not, it's still very expensive at the time, sorry, the petrol is very expensive. So diesel is the only available uh, things. So, we, my, my dad will, will, will get the, uh, you know, uh, the, the lamb and then start to put in, I don't know what they call it, I forgot the term of it, that, you know, there's a kind of a web that actually hold to the, huh? yeah, <laughs> something like that. So, 
In, a, in order to, that, to let this thing lead, right, you cannot straight away burn with fire. It would collapse. So they have to put in the, the, the spirit. They call it the spirit. <laughs> yeah, to wet it, to wet it, okay, to wet it and then close it up tightly. And then on bottom, there is a, there's a bowl of uh, what you call the uh, kerosene or something like that. They put in kerosene. So they will palm and palm and palm and then the light and the, the brightness of this was so great. Uh, nowadays, we don't practice anymore lah, because efficient, right? Huh? We have all the, the, the electricity. So come back to this. In order to know that God That, that, that when, we are, when we come to know about God and the uh, Holy Spirit, I was actually, in my time when I, I, I received it, I said, huh? How come spirit can become human? You know? When I go to church, first time I listen, that, you know, the spirit can, I, I get scared, you know? I get scared, you know, why? At that time I was very young. So when I go back, I have temples behind my house. I have a lot of shrine everywhere. You know what I mean? So that kind of imagination, imagination can come into your brain and storm you, you know, and even you can, you can have a wild dream and even, the, you know, the scary dreams, you know, where the thing that my father pumped and fired up, it turned out to be a ghost. You know, it haunted you and things like that, okay? That's the story, huh? But, uh, <laughs> but I was young, huh? What we want to know about this Holy Spirit, the Comforter. He said, The Comforter which the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you into all things and bring all things to your remembrance wherever I have said to you. Now, this process of it, even though there is an official claim, an official uh, statement that he will come. And Jesus had promised that also. He said, when I go to the Father, I will send you the Comforter. I will send you the Comforter. But how many of us really actually encounter the Holy Spirit? Nowadays, we have internet, we have so many resources that keep us busy. Right? They keep us knowing this, knowing that and we can challenge the pastor. Pastor, I know more than you. Lah. No, I every day go to the internet. I read this, I read that, and this is fake, this is made, this is what, 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 what. Basically, that, that's what happened. Lah. So, we are, we are all prepared. Lah, you know, come to church, hear what the pastor is going to say. <laughs> you know, and whatever that is not right, then we you know, tackle it in a different way. But I want to let you know that the inspirations of the Holy Spirit, it is true, work in our life. Otherwise, the four gospel doesn't appear so fluent. And even the, the old, older time, you know, you have all the Genesis and lies up one by one. We know that time, those, uh, we call it uh, episode, whatever, letter, everything is... Huh? Srabut lah, you know, like many people say, srabut everywhere, you know. But how that can be that fine con tune and com compilations is because when Holy Spirit work, and we know that the, a lot of gospels have been written only after Jesus passed away, many many uh, from fifty years and on, and maybe you know hundred years, and after that, then one by one of the gospel are compiling towards that. But who do the work? Who actually, you know, how God worked on one this particular person in different area and one this particular person on the other different area. Especially, you can, you can take Paul as an example. He was the church persecutor, right? Before he be, uh, became Paul, he saw. So how then God can use him when he is in exile in Egypt, you know huh? that Paul is actually exiled to Egypt and rest there for three years. After when he encountered Jesus, I don't know, maybe you can say it, 
that is kind of a, a, a very different scenario altogether. On the way, on his way to Damascus, he met Jesus. And Jesus told him, how can an egg go against a stone? Right? Is it in your Bible? Come on, give me some response. Is it in your Bible? <laughs> uh, so, so that happened. Okay? So that when that happened, he was blind and then he seek help and then the Jesus, uh, 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 I mean the form of the Holy Spirit, I could say that, uh, uh, and tell him that you go to go and see Peter and you know, you get prayed and then you get healed and then, you know, by when he healed, he cannot stay there. You know what I mean? You kill so many Christians, how can you stay in the place? You are the, the one that actually, uh, you know, in the eye of all those Christians, already a criminal. That's why Paul said, I'm a great sinner. And he, when he come back to un, reunion with the, with, the, with the saint, he said, I'm a great sinner. I have of no use. All my, all my learning, all my, all my you know, education, everything is dunk. It's not valid. Why? Because of this. That's his actual encounter. When he encountered with the Holy Spirit, when he encountered Jesus at that point of, you know, it should be more than many, many years Jesus passed away on, on, the, on the cross of Calvary and that persecution happened. Many, many years. And Christians would be sacrificed and sacrificed and, and dying to hold the truth for us, the generation now. Now, can you appreciate that sacrifice? We, a lot of us, we read Bible, we read it as though that it is a special wonders. And we are, we are ever ready. We say, yeah, one day I, I want to be like Noah, who built the ark. And finally, God, you know, yeah, kill all the people. And then me and my family leave. Right? Hero. We want that kind of experience. But are you ready? Are you prepared? Do you know that Noah sip into what we call anxiety? Even though he has succeeded, built the ark for God, he said, God, I have done all this to you. And he has seen million dead and smell of the cops and the family got no way to turn to. And somewhat he had to drink and drink and drink until he mabok. Do you know that story? Do you know that he hide himself in the, in the tomb and not living together with the family? And the daughter had to make him drunk to be able to communicate with him. Can we appreciate the gospel that today preached to us and saying that we are living by grace, we are living by, you know, uh, the blessing of God. We like that. We do enjoy it. But today, if I were to tell you, if this country were to place in the hand of all Christians, can we all the time say love, love, love? Can we all the time say blessing? Hopefully, everybody lah. You know, accepted us. But if you have a country where all, you know, all, uh, like, like now in Malaysia, everything's a mix. We don't talk about whatever politics. Lah. We talk if this were to happen to give it to your hand. Will you, will you be able to manage it? Is that what the Holy Spirit coming coming for? Can I say a yes or no? Yes or no? No. <laughs> or oh, yes. Please respond to me because I don't want to, I, I'm not a preacher that I, you know, enforce my belief to you or my word to you. I like the response from the ground. You don't have to speak it loud. You don't have to, to, to what, but you can, you know, you can make any sign 
knob your head or whatever. You know, if you don't like, just it's okay. It's okay to turn your hair like that. But some in Africa, when you do like that, it's a yes, you know. <laughs> All right, uh, some some cultural, uh, you do like that, uh, it's a yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I I hope you give a response to me, lah. Uh. So basically, if this were to be done, I believe I believe Noah. He had the Holy Spirit work with him. In fact, before he go into the to the ark, there are huge angels. The angels are actually working with him. Okay, otherwise the door cannot be closed so easily. Okay, you must know that everything on that point you don't have the the machine, you don't have the turbine to run the the whole ark, right now. Right, so we we must go to the logic, lah. Sometimes we must go to the logic. Just just don't think that oh, this is just a fairy tales, a story. But getting all the animal, in, I mean animals and, and and living things in without human, do you think Noah don't feel bad? Maybe you can say Noah preached to them earlier, and they are laughing at him. Ah, huh? they 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 kind of like. Turn him down and things like that. But in every person heart, today even in my heart, if my relative turn me off, I feel sad. Right? If my friends suddenly say, you know, I for no reason they don't friend me, I still concern over him. I still concern over her. You know what I mean? This feeling cannot go away, one no. And a lot of people say, "Oh, falling in love is is easy. You don't play with fire, man." Right? I I I I we all been through that. You know, when you love with one tangan like that, no someone. Ah, huh? but we go and tell people, "Oh, this person is very, you know, we like. I like to get her. I like to get him." Cry now. And suddenly there is no clap to respond to our hand. Yeah, it's happened lah. Yeah, in 16 years old, 18, 17, those days lah. Huh? I don't know lah. Those those are my days. It's not in this church, right? <laughs> None of you. <laughs> yes, yet that feeling of pain, that feeling of loss, the anxiety fall in and seep in. Some of us today we take the pill to control our life, to stabilize our emotion. You are not crazy. You are not. And there are many people using that, and even they go through psycholo- psychological counseling and you know, going through you know whatever counseling they need to. But let me tell you, Holy Spirit. Work in that manner, because we must understand how God nature is. When God said He want to replenish the earth, I will put this in a very modern scenario, lah. Very modern scenario. Let put it God as a director, and the Holy Spirit as one who.、Uh, A master builder, okay, or rather you can call it a, a, a great、uh, how to say、uh, a developer lah, ah,、huh? great developer. How we know? How do we know all the stars in our system? That actually every balls that hang out there. Have their have their part to play, and only today, when we send off the the big huge, you know, microscopic uh, 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 you know technology, then we find out oh this one acted this way, that one acted this way, and sun is acted、uh, in a in a form of energy to 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 the earth. You know, and the Earth is one that actually moves the, the the wave. You know, 
in, in, in our sea and things like that. And as the, the gravity are getting closer, the, 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 the bigger the, 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 the what, right? Science tells you that only today. Those days when fishermen, they go out and they fish, what do they know? Peter time, what do they know? They only know the season, right? When what period of time the wave will come, then they don't go out. And another period of time where there is no, uh, no wave, they go. And they only do something on the ground. And today we know all the technology. Then our head go bigger. <laughs> ah, we think that, no, way lah, you know. Spirit thing don't exist lah, you know. And this is an argument lah, this theory lah, that theory lah. But do you know that how many theory come to reality? And in fact, is 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 you know headed to 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 build the structures of community and things like that. And how how do those uh, uh, scientists know, scientists know about the formula? You know what I mean? You have all the calculation to the specification of latitude, attitude, longitude. Aptitude, you know, and then you have this formula actually teach you, tell you that it's, it is, you will get a close approximately or you will get a, a, a right answer to that, to that calculation if you do that. And who give them all this? Yes, you can say the person uh, study hard, he is smart. And today we know, we know uh, I, 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 I don't want to boast about them, but I want to tell you the Jewish is still far ahead in, in a lot of technology, right? Because everything created by them, and, not, and you can go into Google, you can find even, right, even the, the Nobel, Nobel Prize. They won many of it. Music, whatever, you know. I have some, some discussion actually with my children and my wife just recently. And we were talking about all this. You see, we, we, we cannot um, just depend on what the achievement that we had today. I will, I will, I will tell you that God said something earlier to us. He says, See first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. Right? He said, even when the, the lilies and, the, and, the, and, the, and the, all the beautiful plants that God created, today it grows so beautifully, tomorrow it dies. But he said, even Solomon's clothes Solomon is the best person to be, to be the example in the Bible that wear a lot of luxuries. Huh? He's a king. So, very, uh, when, you, when you, you know, you, know, you, you are the, the you, you are the, you know, the, the physical, uh, the, uh, for, for the people, uh, the renowned persons, that everybody look at Solomon, wow, it's like <laughs> bright shine, everything so glow. He said, even the Solomon clothing cannot compare to the beauty of that lilies, of all the flowers that God created. But yet, every day, you see them grow, die, grow, die, grow, die. Now, what I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you that with one of this pandemic is still not a big deal. It's already shaken us to call, right or not? People will be lacking here, lacking there, and facing this, facing that. And somewhat, they pray to God, and families still go. We felt so much empathy. We felt so much sympathy. We felt so much pain that we cannot help our brothers and sisters. I'm not, I don't want to talk about non-Christians. I'm talking about 
Christians who also face COVID. One of them is my brother-in-law. And they are brothers and sisters in other church who have suffered, suffered loss. And that pain is aggravating. But can we deny the existence of the Holy Spirit? Or shall we not telling ourselves, God, I want to come back to you. I want to communicate with your Spirit. Well, today you communicate with me because I'm, a, I'm just standing in front of you talking. Or maybe later we can go for a theta ray. Or maybe later we have lunch. Or maybe you are just my neighbor. Or maybe you're just my client. Or maybe you're, you're just my childhood friend or friend to be or whoever. If that communication simply happened, are we not thinking about this great communication with the Holy Spirit? I want to tell you the story of my past when I become a Christian. I'm a non-Christian at the time. My parents are all very stoned, Taoism and things like that. And then living in, 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 in the estates, we do all, we do all kind of prayer. We break coconut, you know, for all the, the travelies. We even, we even uh, place Siri and Paku, you know. Indian people used to. We do all this. And we seek every kind of, you know, help from this. They call it the spirit world, as far as my, my parents' understanding. Lah. But when I come to know, when I came, when we all came to know the Lord, because my, uh, very unfortunate, my, that time my brother, uh, my, my second elder brother, uh, which is only 13 years old, he was a very, you know, uh, very, their type of person, you know, to, to do everything. He even break his arm, two arms also break before. <laughs> Leg also fractured before. When I mean, you know the cycling, I mean, we cycle, we cycle sideways one, huh? the time. So from the top of the hill, uh, no break, uh, zoom, pop, you know, accident. That saved his life uh, and ne ne uh, never damper him anything. But there was one time when he joined the scouts and he was very, very adventurous. And the book that really guided him that day, uh, that time, is Tarzan. The story about Tarzan. You know, uh, those, those comics books, a lot of comics books are written, you know. Those days, we don't have te television yet, you know. <laughs> no black and white. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of that story. Uh, Dennis, the Minis, La, you know, all kind, these are books. So he's been reading it. And he said, Tarzan, how he, you know, make this you know, and very, very adventurous. So he liked scouts. So when he joined scout, he was so into it that at the age of 13, uh, there's one last, mo last medal to get. That is the King Scout med uh, badge. When you get the King Scout badge, what the, the government can offer you is that you can go any country Huh? to join their scout and go on with you know, training and things like that. So that time, their location was in uh, PD. Huh? Location was in PD. Uh, so six of them actually went. And he said, he actually tell lie to my, my parents. I said, when my, my father asked him, uh, is there any elder people or teacher to guide you? He said, yes. Lah. So my father signed. So eventually, it turned out it's just one of the from five, from five boy or what, becoming their their scout team, a team leader. So six of them was actually doing all this, but actually this 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 uh, this uh, offer, 
uh, this challenge is really uh, in the school one. I mean, school is offering it, but uh, they have to do it. And what so uh, I don't know what they, they call the term lah. They have to be very independent and you know and and going through all the hardship and things like that. Then turn out that result will will pay off by the medal lah. So eventually he was um, went through the the period. Then he he get very tired. Uh, he was very excited, but he got very tired. And most of the thing, he, uh, the, my friend, this is from his friend mouth, huh, saying that most of the thing he was doing very well. Tying the camp, doing things, and then catch even the river, seafood, and to survive for their what? They don't bring lunch, they don't bring anything. They just go through the jungle and see what can be, eat, uh, can be eaten, and then they catch, and then they cook and eat. So everything do, do well. Finally, I don't know what day was that. So, there were, there were two, because one camp, they, they, they have two persons sleeping in every camp. It's very close to each other and near to the beach. So, what happened was that day, there was uh, wind and uh, drizzling and things like that. And he was the first one to wake up, you know. Call everybody, move to the higher ground, eh? to avoid the, the, the wind and, and the, 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 the rain, things like that. But unfortunately, he, he, he just lie back and then sleep off. So the five of them, they thought it's six, was walking towards the higher ground. Just a split minute there was one big, huge branch. It's not three, eh? One huge big, uh, branch. Fly over to the camp. Pop! Because at that time, everybody cannot fold the camp. They have to leave the camp there. They just have to move to the higher ground. But for him, uh, he was so tired, he caught everybody already, so he slept back. Suddenly, there was a big branch. On the, on, the, on, the, on the camp where he was. So they were counting, lah, you know, one, two, three, four, five, eight, six. Wait, wait, it's another one. So when they rushed back to the camp, he was hit, waist down, paralyzed. You can imagine the pain at that point of time. My father was actually, wow, pray to everything. He's a businessman. He do whatever. At that time, he's like, hell break loose. You know what I mean? So when he got into this, to cut short the story, he's the only person they allowed to go to church. My father was so deep at that point of time, uh, feeling that want to change agama already, you know. So where he go? Catholic church. And what they serve? You know, the, a bowl of, I don't know what is that, like, like you know, kaya or things like that. Like, I don't know. It's a bit of savory and sweetening like that. So it's a bit back to that. Whatever religion you have, you have to, you know, take all the consumer, the... the the chanting and things like that. Lah. That failed him a lot. That really hit him hard. He said, what kind of God is that? Even, you know, eating all these things, uh, praying to Jesus on the cross, huh? so you cannot, so cannot heal one. I mean, desperate. Lah, huh? we, all, we also feel like that. What? If someone is hurt, we always think that in our mind, they are okay, they can be okay. So what not? We don't, we don't understand because we don't know the existence of the Holy Spirit at that point of time. So I also pray like he do. Lah. You know, put a cross with Jesus hanging on the cross. Pray. Nothing happened. But then he still like partially, my brother that time, uh, haven't fully converted. So we've been to a lot of places. We even go through 
through Jesus, we go through other church, we go through many church. And finally, we settle down with one church that talk about Holy Spirit. You know, that time my feelings of spirit is everything. Lah, huh? You know, when people was on trance, when people was, you know, my great, uh, my great uncle, huh? he's, a, he's a great chanter. He beat the table and I can shake one. Pop, 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 pop. And then cut the, the, the tongue and write the, 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 you know, and then burn it and then ask you to drink the water and so like. So my grandma went, oh, my grandma loved him so much. Always go for all these sort of things. We don't know what spirit we are looking for. And that's sad. Truly, truly sad. But when I start to understand the Holy Spirit, and I just took three-day fast, I took three-day fast with my sister. Some of them uh, quietly, we do it secretly because my father don't allow us to go to church. Do you know that I get persecuted when I go to church? I come back. My father was like, you know, the Chinese Guan Kong, you know, the face red <laughs> and very fierce with a cup of tea there and with a host of, you know, the, 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 the pipe, huh? this I mean, a, a, a thumb pick, you know, waiting for me. At the time, my age was only about 12. That's a couple of years ago. Lah. My, after my, uh, my difference between my brother is about five years. Lah. Five, five or three years difference. So, so when, when I come back from church, I take the, 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 the excuse for saying that I'm helping him now because he's paralyzed. Man. So I had to pull him down. But, but when I, he see, at first he already tell me, no, you cannot. Uh, if, 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 if the church, uh, I mean, if, if the church want to bring him, he, they've got people to do it. Lah. So it's, it's kind of like I cannot, I cannot give the, 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 the excuses. Lah. But somehow I'm very curious to know what is the spirit you know, all about. So I sit into the, to the Volkswagen, uh, those days Volkswagen, you know, the Qatar, you know, the Volkswagen, uh, behind the Volkswagen, I was, you know, my, the, the brother of the church also play, uh, play a part, uh, so quietly I move in. Then by the time when I come back, wow, that beating was huge. I kind of back, pop, 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 pop. But initially, I don't feel the pain. I got more excited. I said, wow, this persecution means something. Has not the Spirit trying to tell something to me? Has not the Spirit, because of this Holy Spirit that I'm looking for, that the devil wants to stop me from knowing him? So after the beating, I hate him, you know. I said, I'm not doing anything wrong. Why you beat me? I'm just going to church and listen to a good sermon and things like that. To them, uh, that one is a white God, white people God. Orang putih punya lah, not for you. We are Chinese and things like that. But I, I, I was curious. And the prayer that actually helped when I intercede for my brother, he, he actually seeped into a lot, like I say. He's mindful of all the, the pankat, you know, and he wanted to be the general in the police, he wanted to be general, general in the army, you know, whatever they can give him, you know, all those like weapons to, to hold, eh? he wants to be that. Because he already went through all this, and his aim is to get this position. And a lot of his, of his friends today, eh, mind tell you, the five of them, I think four, four of them, eh, four, I think four, three of them, is actually the general in the army, you know, the royal army. Huh? They are mixed, lah, like Malay, Indian, Chinese also got oil. They have the pankat and they come and visit him. And every time they come to visit him, he feels envy. But he said he has to accept his, that he, he can't do anything. Lah. But when we pray for him, and he be, uh, when, when we become the true Christian, I mean, true Christian means I have accepted the Lord and prayed in the Spirit. After three days, when I 
uh, we, we had re- received the Holy Spirit. Those days we received the Holy Spirit, but very funny one. We thought the tongue is the Spirit. But today I tell you, no. Okay? You have to be able to receive the Holy Spirit, the person. You know why I say that? Because when those 120 people waited from the day of Pentecost, right? So the Holy Spirit was upon them, right? After that, what they do? They, some of them like drunken, right? They're like drunken. They can prophesy. They can do all the things. And the gift start to come in. Okay? The, 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 the gifts start to come in. And then, the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace. So this feeling is entirely, totally different from all the time when we have struggled in the family and going through all the pain, family quarreling, Wagglewood was shooting everywhere. And all of a sudden, these things silent down. You ask me whether my brother's condition getting better? No. But the spirit that worked in him filled him with all the thrill that he don't depend on people carrying him anymore. He don't depend on people making things for him. He can reuse or re- reuse whatever knowledge that he had learned to survive in the camp plus the encouragement of the Holy Spirit that to one point he can even drive a car. And to one point that can, he can even do his own back saw. And going through all that, the positive webs or the, the, the strength come back to him. I wanted to, most of the time, I wanted to be there to look after him. I wanted to. And each time when I go near him, say, go away, get up, close the door. And I say, hey, change, huh, this person? You see, that's physical. You know what I mean? That's physical. You, you see all the fairy tales, oh, suddenly people jump out of the wheelchair and walk. I mean, it could happen. I believe that. But we don't have this experience for him. He don't jump out of the chair. Her leg getting worse and string, stringent. But he can do almost every ordinary people do. And that amazed me. In the hospital, like the, whenever we go back for, for treatments and things like that, to, one, uh, to the age where, where, where they used to tell us, like, when you 13 get hit, most probably you will die around 30, 40. Yeah? Because you've got a lot of distress, you've got a lot of things that drain you down. But he had extra 20 more years to live and he died at the age of 53, or almost uh, 53 around there. That also because the, you know, the back where he had uh, done the, the, the three operations uh, that actually turned cancerous. I'm telling you the truth. I don't have to lie to you. I don't have to tell you this is just a story, but it has happened in my family. What I want you all to understand is having the Holy Spirit communicating is very important. It's like me talking to you now. You don't know me, right? You need to have communication with the Holy Spirit. Okay? So go back. In fact, I don't have much time to share. That's why I'm just telling one, uh, one or two uh, testimony. Right? And uh, we'll close. Finally, you can search into... Uh, I'll give you another two, uh, two more verses. Huh? But when the Comforter is come, in John 15, 26, first is John 14, 26, now John 15, 26. But when the Comforter come, who I will send to you from my Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceed from the Father, 
he shall testify of me. Now, you need the, tes the, tes tes the, the testimony. It's like a word of encouragement to build you. Huh? So, when Holy Spirit testified of him, it convicted your heart. You don't find it out there. You don't find it elsewhere. Right? So when finally, when, when God do something in our life, that's our generation. The new generation come forth. How to recognize? There are only actual three races in the, in the world. You just look at the map. Huh? You look at Europe, everybody white. Right? Up to the Middle East, Middle Eastern, all white. Then you look at Africa, India, all black. Then you look at China, the whole entire is all yellowish people. So there are three sons of uh, Noah actually produce this generation. And whatever we are today, most of us, like some of the, uh, the Asians, they actually uh, mix. This is scientific. Huh? You can Google and find out what is uh, the, the thing to talk about. But so this, this is the thing that you need to know the, the, the real person of the Holy Spirit and talk to him. Then you'll be able to stand around somebody and to encourage them to know God. Otherwise, you are saying that math, math. I come to just math, you know. It is just nothing there. And in X, X1, X1, verse 8, But you shall receive the power after the Holy Spirit has come on you, and you shall be witnesses to me both in Jerusalem and all Judah and Samaria, outermost part of the, world, of the earth. So, three things you need to do. First, communicate with the Holy Spirit. Then, share his dream. Share what he wants to reveal to you, to other people. Thirdly, you need to proclaim the work of the, of the Holy Spirit. He is the master builder. As I told you, God is the director. He is the master builder. He built not just this earth. He built the whole entire universe. universe. And where is all the stone come from? I don't know. As huge as uh, 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 bigger than the earth, few many, 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 many uh, hundred times. I don't know where it come from. But all we know is molecules. You know, in the science, they'll tell you it's a molecules, things like that. Okay? So shall we stand and we close? Father, we praise you, we thank you for today as we uh, gather here to learn of you and to learn of your words. Father, we pray that your Holy Spirit continue to inspire your people to have a real uh, communication with you and talk to you, even though there are so many things, oh God, that hinder us and giving, uh, giving us the wrong information from the internet, from the variance of the explanations, and even different churches. They are split of divisions of truth and things. But we know, God, that whoever you are, we, have, we, have, we, have, we will never uh, be less than Noah. We will never be less than Paul. We will never be less than anyone, oh God, that, that are living on this face of the earth. And we need your guidance, Holy Spirit. We praise you, God. We thank you, Lord. That come and, Lord, fill us, oh, Father, Lord, the knowledge and help us to use, oh, Father, God. Oh, Lord, help us to, to do not waste that, that, that information that you give us, the revelation that you show to us. Help us not to quiet our, uh, to, to silence our lips from not praising you, for not saying anything good about you. Or rather, God, put you in the form of a story or put you in a book or even put you in a, on the shaft of Father God. But Lord, we want to have you, the real person that even gives us the, the, the so much of wisdom, knowledge and understanding to build all kinds of things of Father God. That we have things that are far, far advanced that we, we need to use iPads, handphones, chairs, tables, and cars, and many other more things, so Father Lord. We know that thought and, and inspiration that come from you, Father God. And we cannot deny your existence. We cannot. 
say that you, Holy Spirit, is a mess. You are not. You are a person with us, oh God. Help us, Lord. Come to our life. Lead us and guide us. We praise you in Jesus' name. Everybody say it. Amen. Hallelujah. You feel good? Great. I pass the time back. Oh, let's, let's say the Lord's Prayer. You want me to say? <laughs> okay, let's get it. Right. Pray, pray to God. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you, Lord. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth that it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as forgive those who trespass us against us. Lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the glory, and honor forever, Father God. We just praise you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Everybody say, Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah.